So real quickly, guys, my thoughts on this gem of a speaker. It is in every way more powerful than the Coltrane 3, especially in the bass department. Actually, I was very worried about the bass. Um, I was thinking uh, the down firing port like the Coltrane 3 has works very well in my listening room, but um, this thing has four passive 10 inch drivers in the back. I was wondering how that was gonna work out um, with regards to bass and it just fit amazingly into the listening room. I had to lower the bass to minus two dB on the knob in the back on both of the speakers to get sort of the balance right in my room. These speakers require a larger listening room, which I'm going to be moving in in about two or three months. But in terms of power and bass, these guys are just amazing and well over what, what Coltrane 3 can do. But also at the same time, they're extremely refined. The two inch Acton um, diamond mint range is so well integrated. You, you, the sound is just much more refined than it is with Coltrane 3. You get a broader spectrum in terms of the frequency reach because of the um, 0.75 inch um, diamond super tweeter or tweeter, however you want to call it. So from top to bottom or from bottom to top, whatever, the integration is absolutely seamless and perfect. This speaker has a tremendous combination of grace and power at the same time. Hopefully you can see or hear some of it in, in the videos I'm putting out, but words cannot explain. Also, the magmas are running in low power mode, basically. So they're still running at 50 watts, which is more than enough to power these uh, speakers. So props to Dan from, from Nat. This guy has made some amazing fucking amps. So, um, yeah, that's about it.